So it's one year since my surgery. A year ago, I had a neck lift and a lower face lift to uh, clean up the sag under my neck uh, and uh, tighten up my jawline. And I'm finally putting together video clips and photos of my before, uh, some of the actual surgery and the days after. To introduce this compilation, I want to say I've tried a lot of different things. I'm 57 now. At the time I had the surgery, one year ago, I was 56. I've had facial lifting threads. I've had threads along what they call the vermilion line along the lip. I've had collagen threads in my neck. I've done PRP, uh, even some biologics uh, from labs. I've done uh, uh, microneedling, um, ESWT or shockwave therapy. I've done a lot of things, uh, probably more uh, than I can think uh, for documentation and just for my own benefit to see what I can do to keep my skin, my countenance fresh. Uh, positives and negatives to all of those things. Most of the positives on all those things is no downtime, immediate results, good results, not invasive, uh, mostly natural, uh, those kinds of positives. But you know what? Nothing helped my neck. And uh, I've never liked my neck and it's genetically or whatever, it's just always gotten worse. I got to the point where I really just decided I'm just gonna get this extra stuff just cut off. So I want to introduce this, this series of videos by saying I didn't prepare well enough for the surgery and I, I would recommend not to scare anybody away from it because there is a point where I think if you're just unhappy with something about yourself you either accept it or you get rid or you change it and that's what I decided to do I originally I was just gonna have this skin here it's just I, I, I don't know what I was thinking they're just gonna pull it back you know like a curtain <laughs> that's not what it was my doctor was great you know he told me if we just did this I would have bunching here, it would look weird. So we did it on my lower face and my neck pulled it up, sucked a little bit of fat. See a little scar there, sucked a little fat out of there. Tied these platysmal pins uh, back together. And I was, you know, good to go, but completely unprepared for the recovery period. One thing I forgot to, in looking at the videos, one thing I forgot to mention in them, Follow their directions about, about sleeping on your back. Uh, a couple of times I found myself sleeping on my side, I'm a side sleeper, I'm a tummy sleeper. So sleeping on my back was horrendous. I really had a hard time with that. And many times, even though I was wrapped up, I was kind of cheating, I found myself sleeping on this side. And incidentally, my my face heal a little crooked. This ear is is slower than this ear. You can't, you know, it's not it's not super noticeable. But this earlobe is down here. This earlobe, you know, is up here. And, you know, sometimes I look in the mirror, I just kind of like, I just want to push it back up. So, you know, no big deal. Everybody's got some asymmetry. Uh, I'm pretty happy, you know, with my results. But when they tell you to sleep on your back, sleep on your back. Uh, when they tell you you don't need to wrap anymore, keep wrapping. Uh, I've even gained probably about 10, 15 pounds. Okay, to be honest, 15 pounds since the surgery, and even carrying extra weight, man, am I, which I'm going to get rid of that weight. The, the, my neck looks great, so I'm very happy with it. At this point, a year later, I finally have all my feeling back. Was numb for, you know, it would just the numbness would kind of move back and back and back. So I'm just really just, a, oh, I wouldn't say numb, but not quite as much sensation. You know, right around in here, not as much uh, sensation. But you know, coming back, uh, I'm pretty content with it. I feel like once I had my neck done, I, I, you know, people said, "Oh, you're gonna fall victim. You're gonna want surgery after surgery." I'm not really on my face. No, I mean, I'm pretty. I feel like it looks pretty natural, so I'm pretty content with it. 
I hope the following video is helpful uh, to some people. You can not panic at what you look like, um, but do be prepared for them to actually take the skin, like pull the skin away from your face, kind of, you know, pull back up, hook it in, you know? I mean, I even have, I think I even have better cheekbones because I think he, he did me like a solid and kind of pulled it in, uh, in here. Um, thanks for watching and I hope this is helpful to somebody. So day two, uh, after my uh, neck lift and lower face lift, which I had yesterday afternoon, um, some liposuction under the chin uh, and tying my platysmal bands back um, and then lifting on the neck and lifting uh, the lower face. So, back to my incision lines. And today is the day I can take off my initial dressing, put some more um, antibiotic ointment on, and then wrap back up. Uh, bike it in and every three hours, which I, might be too much. It doesn't feel like too much. It feels like just the right amount. Um, but I'm watching that. Uh, so I do know that managing pain the first one to three days after surgery does help you heal faster because the body can focus on healing, not on managing the pain. So I do know that, so I'm staying on top of the pain. Um, can open my mouth a little more today than I could yesterday. Um, able to sleep in 90 minute sections of time. Okay. So all night I slept in about 90 minutes here. Uh, timing around the medication. So we'll see what everything looks like after I take off the bandages. So today is day two of uh, post surgery. Uh, I, it's Friday, end of the day Friday, and I had my surgery Wednesday afternoon. So I'm a little beyond, just a little beyond 48 hours. And here is see so far. I also have some still shots. Um, thankfully my sister showed up today. So uh, she's a nurse. She's actually, she's like an NP or a PA. I forget which one and I'm going to be in trouble. But anyway, not only is she, uh, does she have medical background, but she's also had this uh, treatment similar. She's had um, little different protocol but kind of the same thing so I was a little worried honestly about some of this right here um, I was a little worried about that uh, and, and the swelling kicked in today because I made a mistake of not wrapping this morning when I woke up this morning I took my compression wrap off and gave myself a couple hours of breather my ointment on and that was a huge mistake I just it completely blew up with so much um, swelling it was really uh, it was, it, I'm not gonna say the swelling was painful but I could feel it straining and actually I just took a shower now to continue to rinse out some of the blood and uh, I can actually feel because I don't have my compression garment on I can start to feel the swelling um, kicking in already uh, what uh, I also did not take any Vicodin today. Uh, I had a couple phone calls to make and um, I was feeling kind of loopy on it. And I'm surprised at how well I did without Vicodin. Uh, so I'm, uh, what I take is Arnica. I have no idea if that works or not, but I take it. They gave it to me, a couple little pellets dissolve under my tongue and I stagger the um, 
Vicodin with Tylenol. Vicodin already has some Tylenol in it. Vicodin's fantastic. Um, it helped me sleep the first two nights. Um, I'll probably take it tonight to make sure that I sleep at that upright. I'm a stomach sleeper and I'm a flat sleeper, and that's totally out of the question. So the Vicodin does help me to sleep, so I'll probably I'll probably wrap up here uh, and take some um, tonight. What do I wish I had done differently? I wish I had lined up some mushy foods because chewing is a no. Uh, I wish that I had lined up more uh, ice packs, softer ice packs, movable ice packs, anything that's even sort of bumpy hurts when it touches. So I wish I had been on top of the ice pack game uh, and on top of the soft food game. That's what I wish I had done different. So we'll see how, I'm going to wrap up here and we'll see how it looks tomorrow. So it's day four after my neck and lower facelift and I wish I had done a Wednesday afternoon. It's now Sunday. Here's my healing progress. Let's see on this side. Just finished telling my best friend yesterday that I wasn't super worried about the bruising. I was more worried about the swelling. And I woke up this morning, took my wrap off. I started putting a t-shirt on underneath the wrap because it was really itching my ears. And uh, I thought, when is all this dye? All this dye that came off my t-shirt, where did that come from? I thought it must be some kind of reaction. Washed it all off. And I'm like, why is this cut? Now I realize it's the bruising. So I'm turning like green and yellow, which, you know, not that. That's, that's still ink I can't seem to get off. Um, so I've been putting on um, vitamin K, vitamin K cream on that, which is supposed to help. Apparently you can mix it with DMSO and it'll soak in more, but I just have so much going on with my face and skin right now, I don't feel like risking that. So I'm just putting uh, the vitamin K serum right on. I have not been on Vicodin for 24 hours. Last night was a little rough sleeping. I was up a lot fussing with the wrap, which was really itching and bothering me. Didn't really sleep that well, but I don't really feel super worse for wear. Rough morning, I felt a little awful. Um, but, you know, I'm clear-headed. I can work on my computer, get some work done. Um, really, really looking forward to this swelling going down. Uh, I don't feel like it's going down yet, although I can definitely feel this area is loosening up, more, move, you know, more able to move around. I have some more give uh, in my skin. So that's making me feel a little better. Um, don't ask me yet if I would do this again. I, honestly, I, I, let, me, let me just see the results. It's a little bit like after you have your first baby and you swear you're never gonna do it again. And then a year later, you know, you wanna do it again. Let's hope not. Um, let's hope this is really all I need to do. I've never liked my neck. But I will say, uh, well, we'll do that one tomorrow. The difference between this and threads, because I've had threads, and now I've had what would be considered invasive. So threads is non-invasive, um, not really much recovery time, uh, and, and this is actual surgery, so we'll do that one tomorrow. But this is how I look today. I've been better with the wrap. I wrapped myself up like a mummy all day yesterday, and then periodically through the night. See you tomorrow. So this is the same day, this is Sunday, and I don't know if you can see this, but I've had the wrap off just maybe half an hour. And the swelling, this is how fast the swelling comes back on. I don't know if you can see this, but this is actually hard to the touch. It's so swollen. Or not, not there that soft. This is rock hard right here, and rock hard here, and my ears are, are swelling too. Also, this whole neck area and already I have limited motion. So that is how quick your face will swell up when you get that, get the wrap off. Um, and also I noticed I messed up my days on this. So obviously I was doing a lot of Vicodin when I first started this. So I'll have to, I'll have to remark the days when I put this together. So it's Tuesday. 
which means uh, tomorrow will be one week since my neck lift and lower face lift. And it turns out this is not ink, like I thought, that is an actual bruise. Um, that's, by the way, that's the side of the face he started with. And then he evened out uh, on this side. And uh, this side uh, definitely uh, showing more, I don't know, trauma. I don't know if that's a thing, but just let you know in case somebody else notices that. Uh, and then there's this side, which was the second side that he had done. Uh, feeling a lot better. Uh, now have not had bike it in since I think it was Sunday. And um, so I think I'm like three days without bike it. So uh, I'm up and moving around. It's uh, a little awkward being outside with this big giant wrap on my head. But, you know, I'm driving. I'm, um, as long as I'm not bending over and lifting, you know, actually I feel better when I'm out moving around. And uh, my swelling is better too when I'm out moving around, even with the wrap. So, swelling it continues to come and go. I'm still using the topical vitamin K uh, and, of course, the antibiotic uh, ointment. And done with my antibiotics and done with, I'm done with all, all my medications. I'm just on like a natural uh, healing progression here. Feeling a little better about this frog shape of my face. It seems to be going down. And um, I'm feeling kind of hopeful. I'm feeling kind of hopeful that I'm gonna, I'm not gonna regret this. So we'll let's check in tomorrow. So it's Wednesday, and a week ago today, I had my neck lift and lower face lift, and I'm gonna show you an example of a really good compression wrap that I did because I'm getting serious about getting on top of the swelling. You can buy these uh, already, or they're kind of formed like this. That I saw them on Amazon. I like doing it myself because I can control it more. Um, but you can see sideways how I can capture the swelling that's down here. Compress that in. This side is more swollen and more bumpy, and I can hit that a little more firmly. Um, this side is less so, uh, and the only reason I'm wrapping up here is to keep it from sliding off. I just need that for counter pressure. Um, the tighter I wrap this, the more the front of my face will swell. So you can see my eyes are a little more swollen. Um, and I did put padding under here because um, I don't want lines. I don't know if that makes a difference, but since that's where I had liposuction, I put um, some gauze, some super flat gauze under there so that when I wrap under there, I'm not wrapping lines into uh, my skin. It's just a, comp uh, there's no lines. I don't know if that makes a difference, but it, it kind of bothers me. So, uh, and it's also less itchy. Um, so, this is an example of uh, a really good compression uh, wrap. And um, so this is now um, seven days post-surgery, or eight days ago I had surgery. Coming along. This, what you see on here is uh, the vitamin K, um, some antibiotic, um, and just kind of cream to help with the swelling and the bruising. So officially nine days post-op, from my neck and lower face lift, headed into the doctor's office today. I had my surgery last Wednesday, and it's now following Friday. So I'm gonna find out what the doctor thinks. This is this side, healing up quite nicely. You feel that? So bruising and swelling under my eyes. This side, I am officially concerned with. Uh, I'm going to ask him about that. I have it's like what appears to be a dent right here. I don't know if you can see that. It's not just this bruising, but there's like a dent. Um, and it could be the swelling around it is uh, making it look worse. But when I touch here, I can feel 
like right down to you know my cheekbone um, like a very very big dimple and over here on the same side I cannot touch my cheekbone so and I'm a little concerned about this asymmetry and this dent here which I'm going to ask him about neck I guess I haven't mentioned enough how thrilled I am with the neck I've been more concerned about the healing and the problems and like trying to maintain my expectations uh, and, and not um, search for problems and worry. Um, so my neck, I'm just beyond thrilled with. I mean, look at this neck. I'm 56 and this is like a 40 year old neck, a 35 year old's neck. Honestly, I don't know if I, I've had a good a neck this nice uh, in a long time. Uh, I, and it does help to take before pictures as many as you can because uh, I'm just absolutely stunned at how beautiful and actually natural looking um, my neckline is. I can't wait to wear turtlenecks again. I can't wait to wear jewelry there. I can't wait to just not be thinking about my neck, you know, but thinking about other people when they're talking to me or you know, where I am, not worried that somebody's going to take an unflattering photo of me. Um, it's, it's changing your neck. I, I used to apologize for how important this was for me. I don't anymore because almost every woman I've ever talked to of any age is concerned about her neck. So very pleased with that and off to see the doctor. So today I am 11 days post treatment. Um, it is Sunday and my neck and lower jaw lift was the previous Wednesday and I'm, I'm getting very pleased with the results. Met with my doctor on Friday, uh, two days ago, and talked to him about this puckering here uh, and uh, he was very helpful with explaining that I have stitches uh, inside underneath that will dissolve two to three weeks after surgery so I'm like a week a week and a half away from those stitches dissolving this is the tugging that I'm feeling underneath and the tightness but it's also um, what is holding this down here and so the swelling above and the swelling below is what's creating the pucker and that's going to go away I'm numb it's fairly numb through here and I'm fairly numb through here but I'm gradually getting more and more feeling um, I'm really pleased the, uh, the uh, bruising is going away. Uh, you can see the swelling is starting to come down and uh, I still have some swelling under here, right? And obviously I have a lot of swelling right in, right in through here, but you know, the skin is loosening up, you know, I feel like uh, my ability to make, uh, you know, natural expression with my face is starting to come back. I've worn my hair up in a ponytail for three days just for help with these stitches under here dissolving and I was really pleased with my profile. I haven't done that in a long time because I feel like I look like a turtle. Did. Used to look like kind of a turtle when my hair was up because my profile was just straight down, you know, with my hair up. But now I have this nice um, profile of all the things that I have done to not just turn back the clock but almost you know erase uh, it, it's like erasing years of unhappiness almost that have that I felt showed up on my face for some reason I associated that with my neck and uh, I feel like I've erased that so I'm very happy uh, with the results uh, and I can get my hair colored uh, at the two week mark. So Wednesday is coming week. I mean, if I wanted to, I could get, you know, all my gray uh, touched up. And honestly, now that my neck is done, I'm not feeling as bad about my gray. And uh, not that I'm gonna go gray, not that I'm gonna let my gray come in, but I'm not gonna fight it as heavily. Uh, I just feel like me again and the gray is now not a big deal because I'm not always compensating um, with other things to take away from um, the neck. You can see here 
I don't know if you can see this, how this is, this incision area is healing under there. I don't know, it might be a little bit of scar tissue, but I know what to do about that. I've done some reading on massaging of scar tissue and stretching it. You can do that starting at week two or week three, depending. Uh, and there's lymphatic drainage massage that you can do on your face that will also help with this. I haven't done any of that other than my own, which I just uh, I know how to do. It's just very gentle. So I'm, I'm super pleased and uh, I can see why people get it kind of, I want to say addicted to this type of thing, but uh, you know, this puffiness here, I feel like I can live with honestly. I'm just so happy that my neck uh, reflects uh, my level of energy and um, how, I, how I feel. I don't feel drugged down inside. I don't feel weighed down and droopy inside. And, and now I feel like my countenance reflects that. So I'm pretty pleased. So today is two weeks and a day since my neck lift and lower face lift. I uh, did my hair, have some makeup on, light makeup, and I feel like I can go out in public without a wrap on um, because uh, the swelling is down to the point now where you know I can move my face completely. Um, so you can't really see the stitches. They're the, not really stitches, but the incision line, how that's healing. But this is two weeks and a day since uh, my surgery. I'm uh, pretty pleased um, with how everything is coming out, and um, I feel great. So today is two weeks and a day since my neck lift and lower face lift. Uh, did my hair some makeup on, light makeup, and I feel like I can go out in public without a wrap on um, because uh, the swelling is down to the point now where you know I can move my face completely. Um, so you can't really see the stitches, they're the, not really stitches, but the incision line, how that's healing. But this is two weeks and a day since uh, my surgery. I'm uh, pretty pleased um, with how everything is coming out and um, I feel great. So today is two weeks and a day since my neck lift and lower face lift. I uh, did my hair, have some makeup on, light makeup, and I feel like I can go so today I'm officially three weeks post lower neck lift and lower jaw lift surgery. Uh, I'll show you uh, how everything works. So um, still numb in through this area right here. All my stitches are pretty much uh, dissolved or removed. Uh, still some swel swelling on either side here. Um, some bumpiness, don't know if you can see that and some tightness right in here. I can't really lift, it's very tight here. I can't lift my neck up um, too far. Uh, this side is still recovering. You can still see the stitches inside underneath, not yet dissolved, if you can see that, um, which is causing like this puckering right here. Uh, same thing numb uh, over there uh, and a lot of pulling. Um, still. However, very happy uh, overall with the results. Looks, I think, very natural. And um, I, I'm happy with the profile. I'm happy with the healing. And uh, I'll do another one at four weeks. Now we're going to do weekly since I hit the three month uh, mark. But uh, I'm very happy uh, overall. You know, my jowls, my cheeks are a lot better. Of course, my, my, under my neck, fantastic, uh, and overall, I'm very pleased with the results. 
So today I'm officially three weeks post lower neck lift and lower jaw lift surgery. Uh, I'll show you uh, how everything looks. So um, still numb in through this area right here. All my stitches are pretty much uh, dissolved or removed. Uh, still. S Hi, so here we are five weeks after post neck lift and uh, I decided to treat myself with a new look. So I got my hair highlighted to kind of go with my new neck. And I want to show you the results. I still have, um, you, can see, you can see on the side of my cheek right here, I still have, this is not makeup, that's a shadow, I still have. Uh, an indent there. I can feel a stitch in there that hasn't dissolved yet. Um, and I have the same on the other side, but not as much. Um, still numb through here. Still numb through here. Uh, uh, today, I happen to have some swelling under here. Not sure why. I've been a little lax on wearing my uh, constriction strap because I've been so pleased with the results but I think this is not completely healed and this is a little swollen which you can kind of see in my uh, side pictures this is usually much tighter so this is a little sore this is a little swollen um, but I'm starting to get feeling back uh, in here it's just a little it's a little bit numb but uh, every week I get a little more feeling and I'm still waiting for this area here, and this area here for the swelling to go down. But uh, overall, I am very pleased uh, with the results. So pleased that um, I'm letting my gray, let my gray grow in, but uh, obviously mixed with quite a bit of blonde for the spring. So this is week five.